Because you do this, I tell you. <laughs> because I'm dumb. Boxing is know. dangerous, man. It's a dangerous <laughs> sport. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are ready. Uh, Jonathan Banks, top heavyweight contender and the trainer of uh, the best heavyweight of the era, uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, Jonathan, we will start with the tough one. Some people say that you are a much better boxer than Vladimir's next opponent, Francesco Pianetta. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Am I better? Am I, Jonathan Banks, better than Francesco Pianetta? Why will I say no? Of course. I mean, I'm not going to say he's better than me. I mean, I think I'm better, but at the same time, I'm not the one getting in the ring fighting. But maybe you should be fighting Pianeta and Vladimir should fight another top guy, better guy than Pianeta. Well, I, um, I, um, I have no need to fight Pianeta. He's not, he's not even, he's nowhere in my sanction in no type, type of way. I mean, I am hired. There's no reason for me to fight him. Vladimir felt a reason to fight him for reasons because he, he didn't he, he just wanted to fight. He didn't want to wait around for anything else. He just wanted to stay busy. So um, he wanted to fight anybody. I mean, the public is saying that he's not on the level of Vladimir. That's what the public is saying. But I think any fighter has a chance to put the lace up and put gloves on and actually train for a fight. So um, that's what the public say. I mean, we can't pay attention to what the public say. We have to go off what we know, our experiences, and um, our, experience, our experience tells us that one punch could change the course of a fight. So we prepare, we get ready to go out and successfully defend the title. You talk to Vladimir on a daily basis. Uh, tell us, uh, is he bothered by the fact that he already has another fight scheduled against Povetkin? He's just not even thinking about the other fight. Povetkin fight doesn't matter unless he wins this fight. So he's focused 100% on Pianetta. He got people that work for him that's focused on Povetkin. But me and Vladimir is only focused on, Pian is on Pianetta. We don't even talk about Povetkin. We only talk about Pianetta. We have to see what happens Saturday, really. We have to see any injuries of any kind. So we won't know until maybe Saturday, after Saturday's over with. Uh, I don't know. My personally, man, I won it within four rounds, with inside of four rounds. but. It could go 12, man. Pianetta never been stopped, never been knocked down. He, he, he's a strong, durable guy. It's really, it's, I mean, a lot of people don't think so, but it's going to be a tough fight because he's doable. I mean, the guy never been knocked down. He's undefeated. We act like we're not talking about a guy that won 10 fights, lost 10 fights. We're talking about a guy that never lost a fight. So it's, I think he's doable, and I think he's going to come to win. But he actually was hurt in his uh, last fight against Oliver McCall, a guy who's close to 50-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you I, <laughs> I saw the fight, but I mean, he was dazed. He was not hurt. I didn't see him hurt. I seen him dazed a little bit, but I didn't see him hurt. Our guy that's hurt, he, he didn't show me that he was hurt. He showed me that he might have been dazed a little bit, but he wasn't hurt. And Oliver McCall, I don't care who you are. This is a tough fight. I boxed Oliver McCall in Florida. He's a tough guy to box. He's a tough one. He, he's just a tough fight because he just walks towards you. He don't care about the style. He don't care about looking good. He just want to come hit you. He know you're gonna hit him, he gotta come back and hit you. The dude got a, he takes a good punch.